I would say that platforms like Facebook are not necessarily bound by free speech rules. They are private corporations and therefore they can they are perfectly allowed and I think they should set their own standards and say thus far and no further. The problem with implementing those standards is we generally we are actually working on this same problem with using large amounts of language data. And one of the problems we see is a lack of understanding of language. Because the problem is you can't have at the scale and velocity of of how the content is generated, you really can't have humans policing this anymore unless you hire, let's take Facebook. Hypothetically, you'd need to hire 50% of its user base to police the other 50% to actually bring a stop to hate speech. It's just not possible. So you need to think about machine learning solutions. Now, the problem there is you need to have large amounts of data, large amounts of high quality data, large amounts of data that is actually understood and not just something scraped from Wikipedia for someone's hack job machine learning application. So what we see particularly with certain com tech companies that we're having conversations with is a general lack of awareness of the language nuances of how the languages actually work, um, how colloquial hate speech actually works, and this is con a constantly mutating sphere. Um, so what, uh, what would actually be better is if these large corporations worked with local universities, worked with local language experts, and sort of we meet each other halfway where we don't say, okay, fine, it's entirely a problem, but we will contribute to the solutions as long as you listen to us. A 50-50 mix and mutual sort of cooperation for the greater good seems to be the way forward.